Hello and welcome everybody, it is Wednesday, and that means it's time for some more Legend of Grimrock 2. So, as I mentioned at the end of the last episode, I was a little bit confused as to what to do next. And, well, I spent a couple hours floating around and I found a couple of secrets that we'll go through. Um, nothing too amazing, but, uh... Unfortunately, I ended up having to look something up, and it's actually not... Like, it didn't s spoil anything, it just would have been, I have to spend more time looking around. So it kind of kind of crystallized things a little bit. So we're going to show you how this works. If it loads. Which, there it goes. Okay. So. You may remember. Uh, well, uh, there was a... There was one of those guide face things, and it said something like, um, it was over here somewhere, I found it when I was poking around, and it was like, hey, go go towards where the sun rises, past the gate, and you'll get a hint, basically, about the, about the quiet one, and uh, what they mean is this, let's go see it, so we're going through the gate here, back into the cemetery, all good, right, but what we're gonna do Somebody respawned. That's kind of cool. Oh, you can't do that. And he is down. And I went too far. It's this gate. We have to go through this door. And the goal is to go around over this way. And heck, I mean, we will take as much experience from these enemies as we can get, right? That is the way to go. Okay, it was... It was this guy over here. We actually saw this, you know, maybe two episodes ago, right? But it was this guy. Every night, the Silent One sees something. Look where he looks and be patient. So that was the hint. And because it had been a couple of weeks since I had seen the hint, I forgot about it. Um, even though I did write it down, but I didn't write it down in enough detail, right? I should have written down, look where the silent one looks at night, which would have actually made more sense and gotten us what we needed. But I turned myself around like an idiot, and there we go. Yeah, I spent a bunch of time poking around in the in the Kilbridge Bog, honestly, because I thought I might find something there, but I didn't find anything really interesting. So here's what we need to do. Before, we, so oh, somebody's hungry. Give him some cheese. So the silent one is here, right? In fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna just mark that. He looks south that way, at night, which is cool, but actually what we'd like to do first is find a couple of secrets before we start playing around. We got these guys coming out of the water for us. not fire spells, huh? Yeah, that's nice. I guess these guys decided to respawn? I'm not sure exactly what the timing is on that. But, uh, they're all dead now. Okay. Secret number one. I was poking around randomly. Oh, wait. Hey, you see this? How it's got, like, a thing there? Well, I figured out how to get through there. It turns out, there is a specially hidden button here. See that? That little guy? Now we can drop down here. 
the secret found. Grab the wooden box. These guys are going to be jerks and slow us down. There's that. Another one down. But we can open this up and check inside. Inside is a mirror cuse, which is light armor. So it's got protection plus eight and resist all plus five, which is way better than this. So we're gonna just get rid of that. But it also has some pellets, which we will give to our resident gun user, and a runestone necklace, which gives us a willpower of plus one. Or it gives somebody a willpower plus one, right? But the question is, does anyone need it? I think the answer is no. So we're actually going to leave that behind as well. We'll just leave them here. So there's that. Um, that's one secret that I found. The other secret... is a little bit to the south, over this way. Now, remember this button? It creates some teleports. Three of them, right? That's the third one, or rather, we've seen it create the third one before. But we never really thought about it that carefully, right? What we did before was we... Let me find something I can throw. One of these, maybe. We did this. And then there was a puzzle in here that we fiddled around with for a while, right? And there was like a button here. And it opens up two of the three, is the is the thing that that I didn't quite figure out. Now here's the trick. Watch this. Ready? Here we go. Basically a walk over. And what it gets us is it gets us a storm seed orb. Which is something for our mage. Something very heavy. Eh, pretty heavy for the mage. Um, it gives energy plus 15, dexterity plus 2, requires concentration of 2, and it has a special attack called lightning bolt. Which is, you know, probably a nice ability. But nothing... I don't think it... I don't think it's a replacement for a staff. Ah, it is a replacement for a staff. And it's better than the than the Whitewood Wand. So I guess we'll make the replacement. Okay, so now we've got that. All these little guys respond. And I would love to, you know hit them with spells and, and weapons. Here's our silent one again. Now it's nighttime. We basically just need to stand here. Is what the, the thing told me. Yep, there's our dude. It's the trickster. Remember him? We're not even going to bother fighting him or anything like that. We're just going to look around. Because now we have access to this island that we have not had access to yet. Which is, I would say, a good thing. We'll get some light up. And we'll just kind of inspect the walls of this structure for a start. Look for any buttons or switches or anything like that. And odds are we're not going to find much, right? Here's a... Okay, we're going to save before we grab that. I, we, we, we know exactly what happens when you do that already, right? I don't even know what it is. A Venom Fane Pick. It is a light weapon. 9 to 27 plus strength in damage. 
4.5 seconds of cooldown, ignores 20 points of enemy's armor, and has light weapons 3, earth magic 1, special attack. It's slightly better than the than the sword, isn't it? Than the long sword. Now he can't use its special attack, but he has a special attack with this guy. And this cuts through 10, 20 points of enemy's armor, which is really, really good. So we're going to switch him over. And I thought this was going to teleport us somewhere, but apparently it does not. Here's some random goodies. Here's a, a cave to explore. There's a switch to open that door, probably. Let's open it up. Ah. So this is our fourth shrine. Yeah, we've got the power gems. Oh, the seeker of the hidden shrine, only by standing in place with perfect elemental equilibrium shalt thou summon forth the gate to the hidden one. Oh, that's a pretty big clue, actually. This is the Shrine of Water. What do we have here? A Scroll of Frost Shield. We already know how to do that. But we can't cast it because we don't have enough cold magic power. But, what we do have are these. One, two, three, and four. Very nice. Essence of water. It sounds like something... Oh! Oh, we created a bunch of ice elements. Yep, I thought so. Now, we can't use frost shields, so we just have to kind of... love that spell, too. Um, what was it? Like this? No. Like this? What was Meteor Swarm? It's like this. That's what we want. Yeah. We can, we can just kind of chill here. One down. And we can just kind of magic snipe these guys. And we got him. So it's interesting. We saw the effect now of putting the power gems in place. It created those elementals. Which is a pretty serious, uh, serious thing. But this, uh, this is now open to us. Like, permanently. It looks like. Um, let's go check out this dungeon. We'll save up real quick. Just in case there's like a crushing thing right in front of us as we walk in, but oh, we're underwater. That's interesting. There's a fish.
Uh oh, someone's gonna die. That's a fun one. We'll take a bit of a nap. Now this is interesting. Random thing to hold a torch in place. That opens something. the vault. Basically, we have to try not to get cornered here, but... There we are. And he's starving again. He's not wearing anything that makes him hungry, or as far as I can tell. It's just strange. Well, let's handle the food situation. We can clear up his inventory a little bit, too. Good enough. Okay. The glass vault. And we've got places to use gold keys, basically. The steel vault. We have a ring on a string. A golden ring hanging in a simple leather wound string. Gravity seems to have an unnaturally strong pull on the ring. Faint writing of some unknown language has been masterfully engraved on the outer surface. You hear ominous whispers seducing you with its power. Huh. Happy Tolkien Day, I guess. Blasted, I was prepared to crack open one of the vaults, but the key slipped from my hands. There's no way I'm getting back into the Zarkton-infested waters. So there's a key down there, too. The Golden Vault. There's a bunch of these. The Floral Vault. Hop on up, buddy. No? So there's a key down there somewhere. We can't really fight the creatures. Um, let's save. So that's a good start. Now we actually have some keys, some gold keys, so, you know, we can actually check these all out, right? If we can open this up, and inside is a potion of dexterity, which we can make, and therefore it is garbage. Spirit mirror pendant, more experience. Good, but... So this is garbage. This is pure, unfiltered garbage.
the only thing there that's useful at all is that amulet for the experience. And we already have one. So how about the steel vault? We have a cutlass. Light weapon, 12 to 36 plus strength. It's, it's good. I thought we already had one of these. Did I put it down like an idiot? I must have, huh? We have a shield of the elements. Resist all plus 15. I mean, it's perfect for him, right? The pearl shield is energy. I, and I guess we'll keep it, but... We gotta do something with his uh, weight issue. There we go. And then some frost bombs. whoop de doo So that's, that's good. It gives us two good items. Shield of the Elements is actually quite good. Um, especially for our uh, Minotaur friend. What else have we got? This is the Golden Vault. An Acolyte Staff. Willpower 2, Concentration 1, Dispel. Oh. So if we do that... We can cast a Dispel spell. Which is nice, but... You know, has limited use. Well, that was okay. What are our other choices? Here's the Floral Vault. A Shaman's Cloak. No, don't do that. Evasion minus two, energy plus 30. A sack with some random alchemical ingredients inside. And a Leaf Bond Bracelet. Energy regen 20%, food consumption 20%. This is so double-edged that it's also kind of worthless. I mean, evasion minus two is stupid. Why would you even bother? I mean, I realize that it does some good things too, but like... For a mage with very few hit points, it's not a great thing. So it looks like our best choice here is the is the um, steel vault. Oh, there it is. Got another gold key. It would be really nice if we could clear the area of the, uh, whatchamacallit, creatures. Like, the glass vault is kind of garbage. You're hungry again. Why are you hungry again? Um, this is the best one of, the, of, of all of them. With this one being a close second, I think. Hey, Andok Raynor, how's it going? We just found our way into the caves under this island. Uh, we found our way out of the island a little earlier, and um, I just did a kind of a save scum run of all of these little vaults here, and the best one probably is this one. The reason being that it gives us two, two items that are better than what we have had laying around. The cutlass is better than the longsword. And this shield of the elements is um, better for him than the pearl shield, probably, as well. We just need to figure out who can hold it. There, he can hold it. Um, and some frost bombs, which, you know, whatever. We don't use bombs that much in this game, so... 
But we got the key. The key was laying on the ground right over there. Um, there's a bunch of those um, little angry creatures, yeah, those guys, running around in there. And we can't hurt them while they're under the water. And they don't seem to be willing to pop up at us, so there we are. We've got some elementals around here. Did I get some underwater weapons? I have not found any underwater weapons yet, as far as I know. And I would assume that it would tell me if I can use something underwater. Got another ice elemental walking around. But that's not a big deal, I think. But we can pick this up too. So let's go take that elemental out. We need the experience. If I don't read the weapon's description. I mean, I usually do. I haven't seen anything in the weapon's description that said this can be used underwater yet. Oh, I hit him a little. or whatever. I saw there was a note in the in that vault area where the guy was complaining about them. So one thing that we can do here is we can kill these damned air elements. We finally have a weapon that can do that. I don't have the dispel spell yet. Yeah, well, th so there's a staff down there that can cast a spell as well, but I didn't want to waste a gold key on it. Yeah. He's running away. Whatever. So we now have this. Kite this guy around in a little square until he dies. There we go. All right. Two levels. Let's take care of those real quick. So we were going to armor him up, get him heavy armor capabilities so he doesn't keep dying pretty quickly. Um, but... Now we want heavy armor on him. 
we're gonna armor him up. So there's that. Uh, we'll start with this one. What does this one do? Strength four? We may not be able to use that for right now. I guess we can drop a couple of things, like the Great Axe we don't need. And we probably don't need this either. Although, does it count as a... It does not count as a skull. We don't need the full helmet either. Um, but we can give him the Meteor Gauntlets now. boots. Crystal or Meteor Gauntlets? 18, evasion minus 10, 15 plus 5 health. But the protection reduces damage by an extra 3 points per hit, so that's probably fine. We'll leave those in a pack for the time being. Shield Evasion 6. Evasion 5 Energy 25. We'll switch that out and drop that. That reduces our weight issue a little bit. So, we now have all four, or we have four of five, question mark? Thingamajigs? Oh, we gotta level him up too. Firearms. he can equip an even better firearm. I think he can equip the repeater. He can't use the repeat fire, but does it do more damage is the question. There's a Dragon Breath Revolver, too. Okay. 19 to 57? Oh, yeah. We're going with the repeater. I guess we're not going to use the other ones, so we can just set them aside. The Archibus and the Flintlock. And the Revolver. They all do less damage. Give him one of those. We'll make a couple of healing potions. save ammo for a little while. We'll just use these. Alright. I saved before I realized I was going to do a bunch of housekeeping, so we'll just do that one more time, and here we go. It opens. It's very dark in here. Let's fix that. Here, teleporter. What is this? My dearest visitor, I would never have expected you to get this far. Very well, it is my duty to welcome my guest into my humble abode. Meet me at the top of the castle. And a cursed compass. Not sure I want a cursed compass. What does it do? The needle twitches nervously. Ooh, we're gonna need that, I'm sure. I don't like carrying around cursed items, but. Okay. 
right, here we go. Well, I'm not seeing any particularly interesting stuff there. Look at these up. And here we are in some kind of giant sanctum. That's filled with water. We have some words to read. The fifth element. All matter in the universe is made from four basic elements. Fire, earth, air, and water. Fire opposes water like air opposes earth. But without a fifth spiritual element, there would only be void, as all matter would fall apart when the four basic elements cancel each other out. We call this fifth element balance, although breaker balance would be a more fitting name. For near and infinity, the basic elements were in equilibrium and there was only void. Then came the spirits and the creation spell was cast. With this spell, the fifth element was created and thus the equilibrium of the elements was disturbed. The universe exploded into existence. The spirits left, but the words of the creation spell remained in the universe. Should they ever be lost, it would undo all creation. Hence, the words of the creation spell are forever guarded in Nexus. over here, unfortunately. Is there a ladder over here? There is. Well, let's hop down here and see if there's anything good. I opened something. Basically, have to make a run for it. Dang it! So close, too. If I if I strafe the whole thing without doing any turns, I might just make, make it. Cannonballs that we can't use, some throwing axes that we don't really care about. A skull! Does it count if they're. It does. They can be in a bag. So I will give him a skull bag. <laughs> the Morning Star is a heavy weapon. No, don't take that off. The flail is better than the morning star. We're going to set the morning star down. And a tome of knowledge. A skill point. Who is most in need of a skill point? And we could top off firearms for him. The alternative would be to give him some more magic ability of some sort. This thing requires concentration too. He can use it. Point. Oh, wait. 
Well, oh, he just gained a level two. Um, this thing, though, it needs a skill point, doesn't it? Heavy weapons five, critical one. So if I got him a critical point, he'd be able to use a special attack for that. That's kind of nice. He can't use concentration two. That's just not going to happen. I guess I could give him the extra skill point. He's got 50,000 points to gain before he can gain a level anyway. Water 3, Concentration 3. He would need two water points in order to cast that spell. Air 4. Air is three, so we could get him Lightning Bolt. But we actually have two items that we can use Lightning Bolt with. Now, you know what? I'm giving it to him. Let's give him... What does he need? Critical? Yeah. Take it. Anything else in here? I don't see anything. Works for me. Just to be sure that there's nothing else down here. But it really doesn't look like it. Okay, fair enough. To the next floor, or maybe not. Ooh. Oh, yep, yeah, it is the next floor. Although there might be something in this area to, to find. So let's do a quick glance around. I saw a button and I was so excited. And it wasn't even a button. I thought that right there was a button, but it is not. It looks like one, though. It's nice that they have a couple of different textures for these walls so that you can even get a little confused sometimes. Yeah, but there's our, there's our fake button again. We can drop down here and kind of just walk around a little bit. Doesn't look like there's anything else here. I guess we'll head up to the next floor. Ooh, books. My favorite. healing potion. I mean, I guess we'll take it.
Ooh, three levers. Not quite sure what to do with them yet, huh? Three broadhead arrows. Some pellets. Yeah, there's another, see that? There's another lone pillar there. It keeps looking like a button. <laughs> oh, there's another note. An ancient map. detailed map. some fun. Seventy damage, holy cow. Oh god. Sixty damage on a hit though. Got one.
There's more of them. You hear that? Oh, God. Whew. Fun. Oh, he's almost dead, too. He's starving, too. I guess I need to get him anti-venom? What was the... Shield potion, that's not what I want. Antidote. That's not the right antidote. Bear form. Uh, well, that doesn't... I mean, that's cool, but it doesn't really help. I need an antidote. Transmute. Anti venom. Blood drop and mudwort. What about this stuff? Here. There. Okay, whatever. Feed him a fish. They do so much damage, too. Oh, he doesn't have enough spirit for that spell. Yeah, that's another one down. Here's another... Pillar. This is a strange dungeon. They're hitting us with very difficult enemies. Oh boy. Hello. 
hello. Feet injured. Fix that. Okay, so it's a puzzle in addition to like something that I have to fiddle around with. Fine. One, two. Three, three. When the words disappear. V. One, two, three, three, two, five. What? You know what? I have an idea. The the, the Roman no uh, no up down up 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 up. Does that have something to do with this, the levers over here? Three levers. the number of times. I get it. 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 Okay. One. Two. Two. 
two five. One, two, I think we're limited to the number of clicks that we can actually get. Which is interesting. People need food. Lisa needs braces. I guess that resets it. One, go here first and do two clicks. Go here second and do five clicks. Go here third and do three clicks. That's my thought. Two clicks. One, two. Here with five clicks. One, two, it's not clicking anymore. from each one. And then three would be all three of them up, maybe? Well, this is a fun puzzle. Um, huh. Don't let tired feet stop you. Don't let tired feet stop you. I don't know.
Well, I am uh, at a fairly complete loss here. Um, what in the world is going on here? I'm gonna try it anyway. Go two times around that one, five times around that one, and three times around that one. One. Two. One. Two, three, four, five, one, two. either. Wait, what? Where's the clicking from? something. You hear that? There's like a clicking sound, but it doesn't open the door. And so I am thoroughly confused. One... Two. Three. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. It's not that either.
four. Six. Seven. Interesting. Zero. Four clicks. Two clicks. One click. Well, I could maybe make that the number of clicks the, the right number, so it'd be two, five, three, right? So it'd be that one. puzzle. I guess we'll save. Whoa. Ooh. It's a memorization puzzle. Or it isn't. happening here. It's not consistent. What in the world? See that? It kicked me out. It's like not consistent. I'm confused as hell. There's no note or anything. It's just you just get teleported back. What what huh? I'm, uh, uh, what? What the? There is something that could help you here. compass. Oh, cute. Very cute. It would have taken me a little while to figure that out. Yeah, for sure.
Yeah, very cute. Very cute game. The way that it kind of randomizes randomize itself, too, is a lot of fun. That's a good trick. Here's a... A bag. Some food. I guess we'll take that. This feels like boss fight. But here we go. bridge. That's kind of cool. That's some angry fluttering things. Who got- oh wow, the mage got killed. Killed the bad guys. If you just gotta chill for a minute until this thing comes back. I don't really feel like wasting a resurrection potion when I'm right, when I'm right next to the darn thing. I could make some potions. How did he use up so many of those potions already? I feel like I just gave him five of them. Mojo back. We're good. <laughs> OK, 
Okay. We took out the creepy crawlies, which is nice. And the question is, now what? This doesn't open, it's just it's just a portcullis. Or it's just a, it's not it doesn't it doesn't look like it opens. Well shoot. Does that do anything? Is that a pressure plate over there? No. I mean, it might be, but I can't get to it. That's also a nope. something I'm missing, huh? It's all about pressure plates, but lower than that. Like down in the... But I can't... drop something through the... It's not like I can drop something through the floor. Pressure plates, but lower than that? Oh, how about here? Okay, that does open this one. Oh, we got our friend. does exactly 21 damage, ignoring exactly 20 points of armor. Wait, it did 19. That's crazy. Okay, there's something here too. So we can pop that. Okay, let's try the teleporter. Oh, before we do that, though. Nope, doesn't sound like it opens anything. 
Alright, next. Maybe this opened? Yep, this opened. I hope we got a spitter face. Oh, fun. Oh, wait, it just, it just went. What? Is that for real? What in the world? Oh, it gets me here, too. Here's another Venom Vein pick. Does more damage. <laughs> Confused. door open? solution, can it? I mean, it might be. Or it might be this. Later the better, yeah.
that's probably the solution, I think. down here and look around. Pulling that doesn't seem to do anything. What does this lever do? Did it open a shortcut below? Really? Oh, it opened this, which gets me up here. Right, right, okay. Which gets me over here. Also open something else. You hear that? It sure sounded like it opened something else. Still hidden secrets here and there. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Over here. Two more potions of resurrection. It's nice that they give you the audio hint, you know? Otherwise, this game would be really, really painful sometimes. Okay. I mean... No, we gotta do it again. around this again. Oh, it lost my lost my opportunity there. That's okay. Okay. That's probably it. Give me more of those snake dudes. What is this? Who gets the dexterity? I don't know, whatever. 
Some more food in the bag. That's nice. Let's get a spell ready. What is making all that racket? goodies. Well, let's figure this out. Oh, he can't dual wield things that aren't knives until he gets that extra, that one last... Yeah. Fine. We'll get him one more level and we'll get him maxed out on light weapons and we'll be good. Spiders aren't too hard to kill. And slimes? This doesn't look too bad. Here's a ladder. I guess there are multiple ladders to get up here? Huh. Okay, let's go hit that button. Dang it! Freaking elementals. They're so damned quick. down for me. Come on, buddy. That didn't work. There he is. Not enough. Not enough. Run away. See if I can load up another one before he hits us. There we go. Better to kill them if you can. There's at least one more. Oh, he's downstairs. Or something. Uh, I don't think so. I mean... We don't have a lot of water magic ability, anyway. Like, we might have the Frostbolt spell. No, we don't even have the Frostbolt spell. I mean, I can really guess what it is. Or maybe not. I don't have a 
the scroll for it. Never found it. The Frostbolt scroll is missing in vanilla. Well then, I did not get it. And there's not much I can do about it. I mean, some of... Well, so it, it would... Well, maybe it would. I don't know if it would or not. Yeah, if I had... I mean, I could guess at it, right? Like, like it could be that. Or it could be that. Or it could be that. But those all say fizzle, not... fizzle too, so I don't know. to not flank us. Stop it. There we go. Another one down. Got another spider over here. Take him out in one hit. Downstairs here. And more here. Oh, interesting. Did not find a button here to open up the next path. There's a treasure chest, it says, on my map. Down there somehow. Can I just drop down here? Ow! I, I guess I can just drop down here. You better not be a mimic, I tell you, I tell you what. Oh, fire bombs? Frost bombs? Garbage. Waste of my time. then be some place to drop down or something. Maybe I missed something down here. So I climbed up here. Oh yeah, look at that. There is. There's a button right here. But I have to get to it. Here. more flame elemental dudes. Ow! Not enough. Keep running.
if they can be killed, it's better to kill them. Come on, buddy. Has he not detected me? Too high to detect me? Okay. Well, then we have to get higher. Six damage to him, huh? That is not a joke. Well, we'll take a little break here. So we'll leave that torch there. Oh, and there's one of these things right here. That's a shame. Bunch of crossbow bolts. Don't actually care about crossbow bolts. Or cannonballs. There's a teleporter. and a couple more potions of resurrection, which... Yeah. Scaled cloak. What is a scaled cloak? Protection 5. I guess I could give it to him, but probably the evasion and the vitality are better. Ooh, a sickle sword. Never seen one of these before. Light weapon, flurry of slashes, 15 to 46 plus strength. Ooh, it's even better. Nice. All right, cool. Poison bombs, don't care about those. You're hungry again. Look over this away. Oh, there's some stairs. There's a greater energy potion. Which we can just make those now. But I guess if you were playing without an alchemist in the team, that'd be something you would need to hoard. Um, all right. Yeah, it's, it's a trade-off, because evasion means you don't take the hit at all. Protection means you take a little less damage. And it's hard to tell which way is the way to go, honestly. He also gets the extra five hit points for the other one. I'll probably go with what I've got. Let's check this out real quick. It's a thing. Doesn't seem to get me anywhere. Like, there's nothing on the ground. Or... Exit shortcut? Is that what it is? Oh wait, I'm on a different floor. And then there's this now. 
which is a secret. And it's some freaking mimic. It's a dead mimic. Potion of strength. Greater healing. Potion of resurrection. I didn't realize it put me on a different floor for a minute there. Okay, well, whatever. Yeah, are we gonna have like a Super Metroid escape from the castle thing? There's a railing. Boss fight? Yeah, of course. Ooh, a dragon. some kind of like a... I wouldn't call it a story boss fight necessarily, but we're gonna... We're fighting weaker zombies. Seek seems to be the smart thing to do in a situation where you've got a giant dragon on your tail. can bite me if I get close to him. Good to know. Yeah, yeah, you and your...
freaking injuries, huh? Oh, he's moving again. Oh, he can kill his own friends. And he can lift off, too. Okay, that's interesting. potion. seen. What is that? Oh, it doesn't go far enough. He'll actually move.
that's another one of those guys down. That's what I like to see. Just one shot? That sucks. Gotta be careful about that. He missed. Those hit though. Oh, he 
did something. A power gem? That's strange. They were dropping healing potions? Weird. There's a pellet. It's even less easy to kill mobs with a boss landing. Well, it, it worked. Thanks, Gymnotropic. How's it going? I'm sure you know what it means if there are still power dumps. Well, there's another... I know there's a fifth shrine. They've mentioned it before in things. So I'm not surprised by that. The problem is... Actually, I should give that to him. Uh, the problem is that... I own, in fact, I even have an extra power gem. Where is it? I thought I had an extra power gem. There, yeah, see, I have two now. So I need two more to do something. But I gotta find that other... Um, I guess I gotta find the other shrine? But this... This looks something like something I can use. Well, let's save it. And let's see what this does. I, I guess we're out. Does anyone know how to drive this thing? No. <laughs> yeah, there's still one more shrine to find, so I might spend a little time next week figuring, seeing if I can figure that out. I'm missing two more power gems. But uh, this is the this is the ending, I guess. ending. Ooh, let's see what happens. They stole my, they stole my airship. <laughs> Ugh, I gotta build another airship. This sucks. Loving memory of a life so bravely lived. Henri Hakkinen. Oh, wow. Scoring Helsinki. Scoring Helsinki composers.
Really solid music in this one. Absolutely enjoyed the playthrough. That was a really fun game. Uh, excellent tribute to Dungeon Master and Eye of the Beholder, and had a lot of fun stuff to do on its own, or for itself. It was really cool. Well, that was... Is it going to just dump us to the main screen? Yeah. Totally. This game was amazing. Uh, really solid. Like, um, like, the first one was good. But, like, this one improved on it in practically every way. Um, and uh, just a lot of really cool stuff to play around with. A lot of different party things in this game to play with, so it might be fun to play through this with a different party. Although I still will bring along an alchemist. <laughs> but, <laughs> but uh, yeah. We'll call the stream here for tonight. Thanks, Onduck Raynor and Jim Natropic for uh, chatting. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening, too. Um... We'll pick this up again on Wednesday, and we'll do a little bit of poking around. I'll see what I can do without, like, looking up a guide. Uh, but, uh, yeah. We'll have a little bit more fun with this before we stream start streaming something else. Yeah, see you later, Ondark Raynor. And, uh, let's see. Friday we've got <coughs> Dying Light. And on Monday we've got Day of the Tentacle, which we'll probably be finishing up on Monday. Um, so there's all that going on. And then new projects coming in after that. So yeah. Um, Labyrinth of Toho over on the YouTube channel on Tuesdays as well. So uh, at, once again, thanks again. Thanks for sticking around. And I'll see you all later. <laughs>